It looks like you guys liked my previous story, and recently I got a new one, so it's story time. Welcome to Pack Tactics. This story is really interesting. We were playing 5e. My friends and I are currently playing in a campaign with a lot of giants. Our party is level 12. We have a war wizard with a level in peace cleric. His name is Manny. He likes to force people into being peaceful by murdering them. We have another war wizard with a level in artificer. His name is Vardan. He's a very funny nobleman that makes me laugh a lot. A flagship bard from Tabletop Builds. I'll link that below. That's Tux. He's a changeling. Our characters still don't know that. He's got a silver tongue. And finally, you have me, a flagship ranger, also from Tabletop Builds. We play with a feat at level 1, so we have a variety of choices in our party. And of course, I pick the Volo Kobold, the one with pack tactics. And I play a character named Sam. Hi, I'm Sam. I'm Sam. You're gonna hear a lot about Sam as I tell these stories. Sam is my most played character ever. I love her to death. Fun fact, when I originally started this channel like two years ago, she was going to be Gator. She is actually the original Gator. But what happened was she was too hard to draw. So I, I just used a stock image of an alligator and it stuck. So what is Sam like? To sum it up quickly, a chaotic, stupid murder hobo who talks in third person. I can play this character forever. Anyways, she is the single target damage dealer of the group. She's also the main healer of the group, because out of combat, we eat life berries. There are two more people at this game, but they couldn't make it, so they're not relevant to the story. Well, that's not true. Our cleric named Thrax shows up at the end of the session. Anyways, this picture summarizes the whole campaign, really. We travel at night with our phantom steeds, murdering giants looking for beans. It's a good time. We've been doing this for months. When I say beans, I actually mean bag of beans. That's what this is all about. I'm not joking. For more detail, check out my bag of beans video. Let's start the story. There's a fortress full of fire giants inside this mountain. And they had slaves. That's all you really need to know. Anyways, we broke in at night, we surprised some fire giants and some of their minions, got rid of them pretty quickly. This was probably the third encounter of the day. After that fight, we didn't have that much time left in the session, so we decided to get in a position where we could roll initiative next session and end the session there. We find the main room and there's tons of enemies. Luckily for us, we had a vantage point at a sort of balcony. The enemies were 50 feet below us. Behind us was an elevator that could bring creatures up if a lever was pulled. We knew this would be a super deadly fight, especially because we were already down quite a lot of resources. But we had the high ground Anakin, and of course we're gonna abuse it by having lots of easy cover. So theoretically, we should be fine. We put our tokens down and ended the session from there. Next session, we're missing two people. That's okay, we're still four people playing. When players are missing, we usually remove their characters from the fights. Anyways, everyone knew the plan. Poke and shoot tactics, but things turned out differently. The main room included multiple iron golems, fire giants, drow mages, and there were some salamanders on the elevator itself. So if we pulled the lever, they would come up. I was riding a phantom seed for Manny, our hobgoblin peace wizard. Our other wizard, Vardan, was riding his own phantom steed. These steeds are really important to the story. And by the way, yes, they have hands. I made a video about phantom steeds, in case you don't know what they do. Anyways, things started off pretty well. We surprised all the enemies and started shooting them down. I did around 140 damage to the big boss fire giant in round one. Pretty huge. And then then, <laughs> everything changed in round two. But before we continue, this video is sponsored by Grim Hollow, Volokan Clans. If you love Norwegian mythology, then you're going to love this. This is two huge books. You have a setting guide and an entire adventure starting from level 3 to 11. The setting guide is called Raider's Guide to Valica. It has everything you need to know, but that's not all. They boosted the marshals with brand new martial maneuvers. There's also a raid mechanic to tackle large-scale battles, two new transformations, and many subclasses and feats. 
Let's talk about the lore quickly. Katger and six other guys killed this legendary monster called Gormadraug. His defeat gave birth to Valica. His flesh became the land. That's right, the setting takes place on a dead body. That's super duper metal if you ask me. Anyways, the adventure book is called Sage of Seasons. It's a massive adventure that lasts an entire year in game, where players tackle unique challenges that arise in each of the four seasons. Not only that, the adventure is filled with new monsters and unique encounters. Experience the life of a Valakin raider as you grow your clan's power and prestige. Check out Grim Hollow, Valakin clans. This is their last week to support them on Kickstarter. And we will survive the winter. Back to the video, round two. The fire giant started to throw iron golems to us. And they attacked. But Kobold, the DM can't do that. That's correct, but we all went with it anyways because we thought it was kind of cool. The rule of cool sometimes applies to DMs as well. Anyways, our plan completely failed, but we could still deal with this. We set up multiple spells and eventually Manny got us an emergency rope trick. If you want to know why we cast Rope Trick here, check out this video. Anyways, Vardan and I decided that we would be fine on our phantom steeds, as we could run in and out of cover. And then things got worse. All of the drow mages started casting fly on the fire giants, including the boss. We were quickly getting overwhelmed. There was just too many giants and iron golems. Vardan and Tux used some teamwork to trap multiple creatures in a sickening radiance plus wall of force combo. That's called a microwave combo. It's very common at high levels. I've surprisingly not made a video about it. Hope was restored. We were confident again. We continued pelting the enemies and were slowly trickling away at them. But then... <laughs> I made a very, very noob mistake. <laughs> Pack tactics got me killed. <laughs> Reminder again, I was playing a Volo Kobold Gloomstalker, but it was both lit and everyone close by was hiding in rope trick. So I didn't have advantage on my attacks. What I did have was my trusty Phantom Steed, so I decided to have it run up to an enemy after which I attacked with advantage and then proceeded by having the Steed back up again. The enemy was already bloodied, so I thought I could kill it. Turned out it was a big mistake. And because it didn't die, I couldn't dash away. I had to disengage instead, which is less speed. So I ended my turn pretty close to the giants. And not only that, the elevator was coming up. I basically got sandwiched alone. They one-shot my steed, after which I got stuck in melee. A salamander restrained me, and an iron golem hit me multiple times until I died. So yeah, I got greedy with doing lots of damage and it got me killed. We basically lost the fight, but it wasn't a TPK, nor did I lose my character. Here's where things get really interesting. Eventually in the fight, Vardan managed to get to my body by dashing his phantom steed over to where I was and picked me up. Then from there, he dimension doored up to the rope trick and entered it. As soon as he entered, Manny then cast Plane Shift using an amulet of the planes to get out. He made the check and we teleported up to the entrance of the fortress. This was when our cleric showed up. There was like 10 minutes left of the game. Anyways, I wasn't dead for very long, so Revivify did work on me. And guess what? We ate some berries after that. We lost the fight, but we recovered from the loss super well. Everyone is alive, we are missing most of our resources, but we have full health again because of the berries. And guess what we did right after eating the berries? We went back into that same fight to try again. <laughs> End of video. Oh yeah, by the way, I also made a Goodberry video if you want to check that out too. And most importantly, check out Grim Hollow. Tick tock, tick tock, time's running out. Bye bye.